it's Madden NFL 24. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Cincinnati Bengals and the Minnesota Vikings. And it's all up next. And we find ourselves at the stadium that played host to Super Bowl 52, the wondrous U.S. Bank Stadium in Minneapolis. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the Cincinnati Bengals taking on the Minnesota Vikings. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gauden. Now, Charles, you and I, we've done a lot of games together. Always seems like we're rehashing the same storylines. Turnovers, of course, always a big story. Quarterback play, running backs, yada, yada, yada. But getting ready for this one, one word kept coming to mind, and that's preparation. Well, it's critical to be prepared physically, mentally. When you think about getting ready for an NFL game, you have to wonder, what will they throw at us that maybe we haven't seen before? two-minute drill, maybe different things like that. Got to be prepared. You're exactly right. Charlie Jones now from his end zone and able to get this across the 20 but not much further as he's dropped at the 23 yard line. Here are the Bengals on offense and here is Joe Burrow ready to lead them to quarterback. Hey we all love a good story and what we like even more guys who can fight through adversity. Joe Burrow coming out of high school goes to Ohio State doesn't get a chance to start transfers to LSU not thought to be a top prospect ends up the number one pick in the draft and justifies it. Tremendous play, excellent mobility, and leadership off the charts. On one, ready? On first down, they'll start out with Moss. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Call it officially a loss of two on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Open man is chase complete. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. They wind up getting just a yard out of it, and that's going to lead to a third and 12. We'll see what they have drawn up here, a little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. On third down, Burrow. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Third down is a key down in any game you play. Third down defense, something we've got to watch in this one. Got to be effective on the passing downs. That's a pretty good first step right there. So on fourth down, on is Brad Robbins to punt for the Bengals. Now fair catch is called for and taken at the, we'll call it the 37-yard line. So here's the Viking offense making their way out. And they will be led out by their rookie quarterback. For every rookie prospect, there are always nerves involved in this moment. Running your team out to start a game. But there's a reason they brought him in. We're willing to make him their starter today. They believe he can overcome those nerves and lead his team to a victory. We saw him do it at the collegiate level and really make himself into a leader and someone you can envision doing the exact same thing here in the NFL. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their 38. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. No such risk in anything there on first down. Even though he's still in the pocket, he had a receiver out to his side, so just put that in a spot where the only people who can make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. Second and 10. Throwing again, McCarthy, eluding the pressure right. 
And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. I certainly like what he did right there because he smartly wanted to avoid forcing anything downfield because nothing appeared to be open. Nice harmless slide there to avoid the big hit, and he gets a small gain on the play. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. They expect this from the visiting team when playing indoors, but not the home team. They're supposed to get all the advantages, right? The home crowd's supposed to help them. They forgot where they were, perhaps. So the false start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now, third and long. Looking to throw, McCarthy. Throw out wide, he's incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. So on fourth down, Ryan Wright on to punt for Minnesota. Charlie Jones deep for Cincinnati. And the fair catch is taken at about the 13-yard line here. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Bengals will have a first and 10 from deep in their own territory. Throwing now, Burrow on first down. On the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time to have a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. Now a second and 10. Moss on the give up the middle. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Call it no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. The threat of a second straight punt to start the game is looming as they come up third and ten. Burrow throw. Got a man open. It's Chase. And he's going to lose yardage here back to the 12-yard line. They'll wind up losing a couple yards here on the play. And it'll be fourth down. Well, the good thing about covering any game I do with you is I know that there's no problem with rhythm. Now, what we're watching offensively, a little bit of a problem there. Yeah, punt on the first drive, looking at another one here. Just a little slow. It, you know, they, they were talking about a fast start, but that hasn't been the case. Yeah, and let's face it. Any team we cover always talks about a That's fast true. start. That's true. But it's not necessarily going to happen just because they say so. And whether it's the script, whether it's, you know, just what they're going through, whether it's in different defenses, they're going to have to figure it out as this game moves on. Well, the Vikings taking the field here for their second drive of the game. And they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they went three and out. And sometimes the first drive is just simply to settle nerves. You know what it's like at the start of a game with the emotion, guys a little I bit don't, jumpy. But you do. Oh, you, you understand the same way. Just like <laughs> us calling one, right? Making sure we ease into the game, let it come to us. Well, you went and three and out. That opportunity. <laughs> uh, no, you didn't go three and out. I went three and out on that first drive. I'll try to do better here. <laughs> He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Boy, you go three and out on your first drive, and that's not the way you want to start this drive either. Doesn't seem like they're really into it just yet. No, first four plays, you don't want to call it a disaster, but not looking very sharp. Looking to throw on second down. McCarthy, this one finding the hands of Brandon Powell. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 13 yards as the Vikings pick up the first down. That's his first catch of the game and an impressive one against multiple defenders. And how about that start? Really aggressive. Yeah, there was double coverage out there, but that didn't stop them at all. They went right at it and defeated it on that play. Now a throw here, hold in. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it'll bring up a second and short. 
But that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. They'll say no gain on the play, so it was looking good, but nothing there, and now it's third down at inches. Okay, second and one, you get nothing. What now on third and one? Sorry about that. I was so excited I jumped in on you. This is almost like practice to me. Line it up and do it again. You didn't get it right the first time. Just get right back on the ball and go. It doesn't matter that they know you're coming. You ought to be able to pick up. Touchdown, Vikings! Aaron Jones, 28 yards. And the Vikings get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Well, I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, but his top two options were not available on that throw, so he went the safe route, worked out pretty well. It was like you were in the pocket. How about you going through the progressions like that? But a lot of offenses say, touchdown to check down. Look downfield first, bring it back to the line of scrimmage. Not easy for a rookie to do. Oftentimes they get one look and they make their decision off of that. He went through three. That was impressive. The point after, right down the middle. And that makes the score 7 0. Kick this one away, and off it goes. Oh, the return is Jones from the end zone. And he's going to be taken down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After one, 7 0 on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Bengals in control of the football as they get set to start their drive with a first and ten. The Bengals drive about to get going. Not only are they in search of their first score, they're in search of their first first down in this ball game as they come up first and ten. A short game here, maybe a yard to the 29. Not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. Here's a second and nine now from the 29. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow. Throw left side complete to Chase. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. The LSU connection. Burrow to chase for the Cincinnati first. Now back to throw. Now a quick throw there he is incomplete. But there's an incompletion partner, and the struggles through the air continue because so far their lack of passing production has led to a lack of points. Here's second and ten. Burrow on play action. That one taken in by T. Higgins. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That goes for a gain of 31. That's a real nice job right there, working the middle of the field, working against those safeties. And you know, partner, if you get your hips turned the wrong way, big plays can result. And a big play resulted right there. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. They're passing here, Joe Burrow. He's got his man, that sample to tight end. And finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. Last play went for over 30 yards. This one not quite as big, but still over 20. How about the way they're moving the ball down the field? They had a big play a moment ago. 
followed it up with another nice one here. And before you know it, they're already looking at first and goal. To the air again, Burrow. And his throw is incomplete. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half. But the coverage has been tight all game long, and they certainly want to keep them off the scoreboard here. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. They'll run out of the gun with Moss. And a little bit of space there takes it inside the five to the three. Give him right around four on the carry. We'll see if they want to keep pounding here on third and goal. And Brandon, they went to a nickel defense, and that's a surprise this close to the goal line. Because ordinarily you use the back end of the end zone, the sidelines as extra defenders, and you want bigger people on the field to try and help against the run. Third and goal, Burrow. He's got it for a Bengal touchdown. Drew Sample from three yards out. And the Bengals are an extra point away from drawing level. This is where, as a tight end, you've got to really sell that this is a run. They're going to fake the give, hope the linebackers bite. And here they do just enough. That split second, that's all it takes for that tight end to leak out into the end zone. Touchdown. Evan McPherson for the extra point. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. So that drive goes eight plays, and it ends with a Bengals score. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Nuwangu now from his end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result, and he opted for the touchback. Minnesota's offense takes over possession. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that, Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. It'll be a five-yard pick up there, and it will take us to the two-minute warning. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Back to throw. McCarthy. That's caught by the big tight end, TJ Hawkinson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. The Vikings in the hurry up. They're hustling up to the line. On first down, McCarthy. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. To throw again, McCarthy. And they're not able to hook up there, incomplete. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because any completions on first and second down, now you gotta worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Again, he'll drop to throw. And he gets it just shy of midfield, but that's not enough. He's short of the marker. Decent gain on the scramble to six, but now it's fourth. They made a nice effort to stick him with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. So on fourth down, on is the punter, Ryan Wright. 
This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. The Bengals going to take over late in this first half. And they've got a little over 40 seconds to work with if they want to try to put something together. They will throw on first down with Burrow. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Trying to get that one to his tight end. And they've been trying to get the ball to him, but as of yet, unable to successfully complete one. But you know, there's usually a nice comfort zone in throwing to the tight end. Great sight lines, usually right in the middle of the field. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Now it's Burrow. Able to find Higgins. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now Burrow. And that would complete once again to Higgins. And he gets us to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. They go right back to him for 20 and a first. Kind of a dangerous throw there. He's off balance when he gets rid of it. But this is all about a quarterback knowing what he can get away with. And that time, it turns into a completion and a healthy gain as well. First down, here's Burrow. Going quickly there, but it's incomplete. And yeah, their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. He'll look underneath and finds Brown. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. An extra defender in the secondary for the Vikings here on third down. Now it's Burrow. Cincinnati score. Jamar Chase as the first half is winding down. And the Bengals have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front. And now, see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. And McPherson on for the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. So the drive there took six plays. And it was Jamar Chase who finished it off with a touchdown reception. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Yeah, 
Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. They get 14 there. First down, Vikings. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people have to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with a short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. A final shot before break. McCarthy. And he's got this to Jefferson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll send you down to Orlando, and we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. We were certainly Coach. treated to an entertaining first half. Both these teams with some high points and maybe a couple of low points as well. So it's going to be a question of who can be the most disciplined team going forward. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. Touchdown ball game, 14-7. Our scores, we get back at it on EA Sports. Nuwangu now from his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Now come the Vikings. They'll have it first on offense as we begin the third. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. and They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. And it's pretty evident that this passing game has been frustrated so far. They haven't really moved the ball the way we might have expected, but this is a good pickup here for the first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. And inside give to Jones. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple and that's it. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operated. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. But when the running game's not working, sometimes you just got to take a few more chances down the field. That's a good effort, but it winds up incomplete. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves them staring up here at a third and eight. Operating from the gun, McCarthy. Oh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. 
And so many times we look at the opening drive in the third quarter as a tone setter, and many coaches do emphasize it. And that's a strong performance there defensively to force the incompletion, and more importantly, force a quick punting situation. And here's Ryan right now as he's on to punt for Minnesota. Fair catch called for and made at the 16 or maybe the 17-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return, and the Bengals take over first and 10. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. Burrow and the Bengals with a first and 10 at their own 18. They'll start on the ground with Moss. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. And that's what this defense is going to need to do more in the second half. Good pressure that time, forces some indecision in the backfield. He's going to wind up being taken down for a nice loss. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Burrow looking to pass. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. On third down, Burrow. And this is going to be incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. The Bengals bring out their punter now, standing just outside his own goal line. Now a fair catch signaled for and made right about the 43-yard line. 36 yards on the punt with no return. And the Vikings will take over here first and 10. McCarthy over the middle and complete to Addison. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Ball on the 47 yard line. Here's second down and one. Off the play fake. McCarthy. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted. Thrown back across his body. Picked off by Mike Hilton. And the Bengals are going to get the football here at their own 40-yard line. Well, this is something we've seen before, partner. We've seen a defense bait a rookie, pretend to leave a window open, and then the defensive back jumped it as soon as the ball was released. Big-time play. They love taking advantage of the youngsters, and in this case, it paid off well. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. They'll start at the 40, so great starting field position following the interception. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 at the 40. Burrow will throw. This will be caught by Brown. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there, getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end. They're looking for Higgins, but it is intercepted. Makai Blackman's got it. And the Vikings are going to take over once 
once again at the 37 yard line. Well, these defensive coaches, they sure like what they've got in this rookie corner. And with good reason, as you saw there. He only cost him a day two pick, and a lot of people thought he had first round ability. But when he was a bit more draft night, that was one where he didn't need the full time to make the selection. You call that pick in early, and he shows why he was so coveted with that interception there. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. The left side completion to Jones. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. One of my old teammates called me the other day when he was watching the game. He's like, man, trying to watch an NFL game and trying to account for their passing game? That's difficult. And just when you think you get everything covered, here comes a back out of the backfield. And in this case, he picks up a first down. Now a first down carry by Jones. And across midfield he goes and into Bengal territory. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Second down, another shot for Jones. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. After the run by Jones, here's first and 10. Off play action, McCarthy. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. They'll try the right side with Jones. And he will be taken down with a good pick up there on what's going to be the final play of the third quarter. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we return welcoming you back to Minneapolis. It's the Vikings in possession of the football, but they need some points. They're trailing here to start the fourth. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. Looking to throw. McCarthy. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again to Jefferson on the slant. And a broken tackle could not free him. Taken down right at the ten-yard line. But Charles, they're trying to protect this lead late. Those are the types of mistakes they could afford to go without. But the last thing you want to give them is help in completing a comeback, which is exactly what that penalty does. So the face mask moves him closer, and now first and goal. Now a handoff. Running left is Jones. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. All of a sudden, those lanes that were there earlier in the drive dry up near the goal line. That's a good job defensively to diagnose the run and stop it for a very short pickup. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Operating from the gun. McCarthy toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. 
so much of this game is about leverage. We always talk about low man wins in the trenches. Well, it's like that in just about every position. And sometimes, if you lose that leverage and you're losing the battle, just jump up at the line of scrimmage and try and bat the ball away. And that's exactly what happened there. Jones. A push forward, but I don't think it's enough. He's going to be about a yard short. He needed three. He got two. Now that'll set up an interesting situation here on fourth and a yard. I know this is your spot, partner, so forgive me for jumping in, but there's no decision right here. They have to go for it in this situation. They're down on the scoreboard. How many other opportunities are you going to get? Yeah, I'm with you. Fourth quarter, like you said, down on the scoreboard. And remember here, a field goal virtually does them no good. They'll go with Jones, and this time he is in. Yes. Aaron Jones, his second touchdown of the afternoon, and the Vikings are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. But we are set up for a fantastic finish now, a fourth-quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And an important one that is, as we are all tied now early in this fourth quarter. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. They no longer have the lead after that last touchdown. All tied up in the fourth quarter. And a chance for this offense to mount a potential game-winning drive right here. Burrow going to lead up the Bengals here first and 10 at the 20. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. This pass complete to Higgins. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. But right there, he rose to the occasion late in a close game. It's something he thought about, dreamed about, and worked on throughout his career. Because in these types of situations, he wasn't going to allow extra coverage to keep him from getting the football. On second down, Burrow. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. They'll try and run for this with Moss. And he's got a Bengals first down as the tackle made here at the 36. Hasn't been his best afternoon on the ground, far from it, but a critical third down conversion. This afternoon just got better. All right, you're exactly right. Hasn't been his best in terms of yardage, but that run there, that's the one your teammates look to you and go, okay, that's what we want from you. That's what we need. Now they have a chance to keep moving forward and a chance to win the game. Throwing now, Burrow on first down. Out to the left, he's got Sample there. Getting down to the good stuff, all tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So the Bengals in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They've got a second down now as they search for a score to break this tie. Meanwhile, Burrow's throw here taken in by Gesicki. Brandon's okay with what they're doing right now. Still able to work the middle of the field, but you know sooner or later, they're going to have to stop the clock. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Burrow. Throw left side complete to Chase. 
And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. He has been terrific today, hasn't he? Yeah, absolutely. Running flawless two-minute drill right here. This has been quarterbacking 101 with a flourish. Here's first and ten. They'll go up the middle here with Moss. On a nice burst there as he'll take this inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. Here's first down. They'll go again here with Moss. And some determined running there as he'll pick his way down to the 12-yard line. Now the Vikings will use the second of their timeouts as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. All three timeouts still at their disposal. Here's first and ten now. Now a give running left with Moss. And that's a touchdown as they've broken our tie here in the final minute of the fourth. Well, any thoughts about overtime have ended at this juncture. That touchdown puts them up six. I would imagine they'll kick the extra point now and rely on their defense. Yeah, rely on their defense. So a little bit of time left on the clock here in the fourth, but they got to feel good now. McPherson on for the point after. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. So that drive, 80 yards, nine plays. And it was capped off by a 12-yard touchdown run. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. So all eyes on this Vikings offense. Down by seven, 50 seconds to go. Needing to go pretty much the length of the football field as they have it first and 10. in them when they line up in these situations. He'll look to throw. Able to find Jones. And not a whole lot there. Maybe three yards on first down. The Vikings going to use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. Here's a second and seven. Back to throw. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Trey Hendrickson showing off his pass rush repertoire that time. A 
fun, close ball game comes to an end. On that last play, Charles, they were on the wrong side of midfield. They needed something near a miracle, and they couldn't get it done. Yeah, the effort, that was good. Very good, in fact. They were just a little too far out to get a decent look at the end zone for that last opportunity. Couldn't get it done, but a nice game overall.